Hey everybody, this is Brian here from Co-op Critics, and I'm continuing my playthrough of Dead Space. I'm playing in the Xbox One, but of course this is the 2008 360 game. Uh, and last time, we got to go out for our first little trip into space, where into the vacuum, where... Uh, where we learned that you only have a certain amount of air. And, oh crap, where did you come from? Let's get over here again. Where are you? Okay. You're, oh, oh, you went back into the vent. Oh, hello. Wow, I knew they could go back into the vents, but I forgot that they actually would just pop right back out somewhere else. That's crazy. Also very clever. Um, what the heck was I saying? So, anyways. Vacuum of space. Uh, only have so much air. Making me think I might want to actually upgrade my rig in terms of... The amount of air that I have, so... No. I like how you can actually see them in the vents a lot of times. Um, okay, let's go here. I think I am going to upgrade my air, my rig. Just so that I have a little bit more air. Because there's definitely parts later on where we're going to be outside for a prolonged period of time. And I'm super slow and also very clumsy. So... I said this before, but my motto is basically shoot... Oh, oh crap! They get on me, you'll see why. I'll let them get on me just so you can see what they look like. Oh, fuck. If they start attacking you, and if you don't hit A. And if you let a whole swarm of them get on you, then you're screwed. Darn it. Oh. Do I not have any health packs? Oh, I do. Okay. Um, so if you let them get on you, that's very bad. Now, a really good way to deal with them is actually the flamethrower, which I think I have the schematic for, but I haven't built yet. Um, which might be something worth building. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm going the right way. What is that? Okay. I think I'm ready to blow up this barricade now. So let's do it. Okay. So the clinic is open, but before we go to the clinic, which is where it wants us to go, let's do two things. Let's go to the store. And see if there is something worth buying. Uh, flamethrower I can buy for 11,000. What do I have? 13,000? I already have my level 2 suit. Um, plasma energy. What do I have in my safe? What do I have in my inventory? Let's look at that. Plenty of plasma energy. Plasma cutter, pulse rifle, pulse rounds. Uh, medium pack. Stasis pack. Blah bitty blah. And then my safe, small med pack, plasma energy. Okay. So I could do the line gun. 
I'm not a huge fan of the line gun, though. Although the mines are pretty cool. What's our new item? I think the flamethrower. Um, you know what? I'm going to hold off on that for now. Power nodes are 10,000. I can pay for that. You know what? I'm not feeling any of that right now. So. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Oh, it's going to be clear, he says, everybody. Good news. Jerkface said it was clear. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get up to the table. Hold him. Not if you hold him down. Christ. Every quarter. That was Nicole, right? Yes, I that's Isaac's girlfriend that, that he's hoping to uh, find sure alive here. here somewhere. Um, that right there, which is so awesome, is foreshadowing of things to come. I really do love everything about this game. Hopefully you're listening to it with headphones on, and that's why I'm not, like, super talking all the time. Because you really should listen to the sound design in this game. It's legitimately amazing. And Dead Space 2 is even more amazing, but, like... Oh, that's not very nice. Oh no. Shoot that. I'm gonna shoot that. I'm gonna shoot that. Oh, that's just gonna mean they're gonna come through faster. Okay. Deep breath. Let's do it, yep. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, there's another one. I'm not so much worried about those guys, but I'm pretty sure... that as soon as I get into this room... Crap, is there more in there? Oh, alright, let's just do it. Ooh. That's good. Oh, here's some lockers. So far, everything seems cool, right? Until... Well, clearly I need to put a battery there. Which means I probably have to... This is kind of a little bit, like... See, <laughs> this is, like, janky sometimes. Come on. You're telling me that doesn't... that's not working for you.
the rest of this episode is just going to be me trying to put this battery in place. Oh, I thought for sure that was going to lock down this room and then it was going to be bad news. Well, this doesn't look like a friendly room at all. Oh, God, those things scare me. I really should switch to this. Put those tails up. Oh. Oh, I can use my power node to override the lock. You will use power. Yes, I'm going to do that. Not enough power. What do you mean? Oh, crap. I already upgraded. Whoa, whoa, not cool. Not cool. I am not a fan of the fact that this game does that. I'm used to playing Dark Souls, and in Dark Souls, 99% of the time, the enemies are in front of you. Unless you happen to run past them accidentally. This game loves to drop guys behind you. And sometimes you don't even hear them. Oh, come on. There's a whole other room in this. Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was. I don't know what's happening. Why do they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait. I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Please. <laughs> Oh my god. Everywhere? How about everywhere? Good lord. Notice the thing I forget to do every single time. Uh, the thing I forget to do every single time is actually use... Ooh, line racks. Oh yeah, no, I don't have the line thing. That would have been a good weapon for this room, though, because it would have went through and cut a whole bunch. Of but we're kind of doing a machine gun run here. Okay, we got oxygen, we got all that stuff. Um, what I forget to do all the time is use my stupid stasis, which would slow them down and make it a lot easier for me. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, surgery's over.
This game really reminds me a lot of Bioshock, but it's like the unrated version of Bioshock. Uh, you know that I'm as keen as anyone to study it. Oh, I think they're talking about the marker. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yep, the marker. I'm going to save right here. Boom, boom, boom. 50. Yes. Okay. We'll go a little bit further tonight. This is locked. Oh, well, you know this is not going to go well. Okay. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. But the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Crap. Almost 40% of the colony are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Yeah, let's bring them on board. That's a great idea. Just said it. Yep. Oh man. This is definitely going to be one of those. Alright, what do I have left in this bad boy? 50. that. Oh, that's the thing that makes more. That was like a super necromorph. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. Ooh, power node. Health pack is good. more symbolism, picture of the marker, more bad stuff happening. And I can't get into that room, but why? I'm sure I'm missing something. I'm supposed to go that way. That.
Oh no. Oh, this is the room I was in. Ooh, see him in there? Ooh, is he throwing up? Yep, it looks like he's throwing up. Oh my god, this guy's much stronger. Yep. Much stronger. God, that scared me. Somehow, one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. I'm really scared, you guys. Because I think something really bad's about to happen. Oh my goodness. You know what? We're going to save here and we're going to wrap this episode up. Uh, if you like this video, then please click like and subscribe to our YouTube page. And go to coopcritics.com for more. And I will be back again soon with more Dead Space. Oh! Suspect.